The NHL season is in full swing, and there's never been a better time to get in on the action. Whether you're trying to hammer an anytime goal prop from William Nylander, or you're trying to bet the money line of the St. Louis Blues, our partners at Sign Up Expert want you to do it with the best. Sign Up Expert is hooking you up, you, the listener, with one of the best new sports books in Canada. Batano. Batano is home to some of the best odds when it comes to betting on the NHL and is home to some very unique markets like virtual soccer and basketball. All you have to do to get started right now is scan that QR code that's on the screen or hit the link that's in the description. If you think the Canucks have been the best surprise of the season so far, wait till you find out about Batano. Don't walk, run to Batano today. Like I said, scan that QR code that's on the screen right now or hit that link in the description to sign up for Batano. Always remember to play responsibly, and if you are going to play, play within your means. Hit up Batano today. It is 19 plus only, and scan that QR code. Hit the link in the description. The Jesse Blake Sports Report with Jesse Blake. Welcome to the Jesse Blake Sports Report. Whether this is your first time here or your last time here or somewhere in between, I appreciate that you are here right now so that we can discuss what might possibly be the most exciting thing to ever happen in Toronto sports history outside of all of the championships that have been won. Shohei Itani signing with the Toronto Blue Jays. Yes, it is a kind of real possibility. We're going to talk about how it's a real outside shot, but it is at least a shot and not all the other teams in the league can say that except for the Los Angeles Dodgers. So let's, let's get into it based on all of the reporting that has come out. And if I'm being perfectly honest, we need to take the reporting on Shohei Otani with a grain of salt, because the one thing, if you follow baseball closely and you follow the insiders closely, the one thing that insiders say about Shohei Otani is that it is held so close to the vest and that nobody really knows What's going on with Shohei Atani? So we're basing everything in this podcast off of the reporting that's been done about Shohei, but we need to all take a step back and realize that nobody really knows what Shohei is thinking because his camp is so tight and leaks do not, that leaks rarely happen out of the Shohei camp. So with all that being said, tonight, John Heyman of the New York Post reported this. The Jays are an interesting surprise entrant for two-way superstar Shohei Otani. They couldn't confirm he's planning a visit, but one Jays person said he heard Otani liked previous stops there. While Toronto would seem like a long shot, partly due to the Canadian monetary issue, one rival said he could see him liking the relatively low-key environment. And John Heyman's not the only one to link the Blue Jays to Shohei Atani. ESPN's Jeff Passan earlier this week said there are plenty of teams whose offseason hinge on the right addition. Dodgers, Rangers, and Blue Jays are chasing the biggest star in the sport, free agent two-way player Shohei Atani. And as all the rumor mill has unfolded, we, it's come down to the conclusion that the Dodgers and the Blue Jays are the last two teams standing. And these rumors have been bubbling so much that Toronto Blue Jays general manager Ross Atkins was asked about it earlier this week and had to address that. He said, we have an incredible opportunity here. The city, the country, the support of ownership, the winning environment, the renovations that have occurred. We have incredible opportunities with the economy and the diversity and the strength of this city that is celebrated by a country. That right there is a general manager who is chasing down the biggest fish in the game and is trying to publicly sway Shohei Itani to Toronto. The the Blue Jays, based on the quotes that Atkins and Shapiro have given, are publicly chasing Shohei Itani, which they should be. They have the money. Ownership has the money. They've just invested so much money in renovations in the Rogers Center. They need a winning team. They need to sell season tickets. They're jacking up the prices every single summer. And what better way to drive interest to your team than by signing Shohei Itani, the biggest global superstar that baseball has seen in decades, possibly of all time. It makes a lot of sense for the Toronto Blue Jays to be chasing Shea Otani, not just from the baseball side of things, but from the business side of things. And they have the money to do it. The only thing 
is that they're competing with Los Angeles Dodgers, who on the other side of it won't allow themselves to be outbid. What this comes down to is Shohei has to pick Toronto over LA because the money is going to be the money. If it's $600 million, if it's $500 million, if it's seven, eight, if it's a billion dollars, the money is going to be the money and the Dodgers will always try and spend a penny more than Toronto, but Toronto is going to get right up there. It's about convincing Otani that Toronto is the better winning environment and the better city and the better place to have your global brand. And that is the fight that the Toronto Blue Jays front office and everybody behind the scenes is having right now. They're trying to convince Shohei Otani that Toronto is the place. It's an incredible thing to think about. And it's crazy that we are even here. There's two teams left. And like, I'm giving the Dodgers like, a 7 out of 10 chance to sign Shohei. I'm giving the Jays like a 4 out of 10. I'm giving the San Francisco Giants like a 2. And I'm giving everybody else in the league a 1 out of 10. That's kind of how I have the rankings right now. I know Texas has been talked about a lot. But I feel like it's come down to those three teams. And San Francisco is kind of on the outside looking in. It's really the Blue Jays who are on the outside of looking at what the Dodgers have to offer. And then it's the Dodgers as the front runner. But... I'm telling you there's a chance. I truly believe there's a chance based on the rumor mill, which we should be taking as a grain of salt, but there is a chance the Jays could land Shohei. He is so much bigger than the sport itself. He's so much bigger than the team and and all of the other teams in, in the market combined, and he's such a global superstar that this will change the city and it'll change baseball in Toronto forever. And that's a very exciting thing to think about. And before I go here today, I want to shout out Daniel who spells it D-A-N-Y-U-L, on our Discord channel. Go to sdpn.ca to join us on Discord, who said, was trying to get better at using After Effects, so I made a Jesse Blake Sports Report intro for fun that I based on the worldwide of sports opening. No agony of defeat in this one. Thought it would be fun to add a bunch of sports clips to a sequence. I would try and make it smoother, but I'm tired of looking at it for for today. Here's that intro. Thank you, Daniel. That's so much fun. I'm glad that I can help you with your After Effects training. I'm I'm well versed in After Effects myself, so I know how many hours it takes to actually get good at After After Effects. Thank you so much. That's a cool intro. That's it for me today. I'll see you again on Sunday. Hopefully, when we're talking on Sunday, we get some more Blue Jays news and we get some more Shellway info. I don't know. I'm. It's it's crazy to think that we're at this point right now, but. Who knows which way it'll go. That is it for me today. I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you for being here. You could have been anywhere in the world which shows me listening or watching this podcast right now. And I appreciate you for that. Good night from Toronto. And that is how it's done. The Jesse Blake Sports Report with Jesse Blake. Jesse Blake, the guy that likes to hear his name twice in one sentence. Sure, I know him. No, he doesn't have an ego at all.